I'm glad to see you're doing well. Um, can you kind of take us through, you know, the end of that game against a and and just, you know, what you remember, you know, about the injury and just what that was like and what kind of happened? Uh, just, you know, everybody seeing it just got a little shaken up, you know, um, just out on the ground. I remember everything that happened. So, you know, kind of just made, try to make a routine play. Just got, I guess, a little flash to the head. And that was pretty much about it, you know. I was kind of nervous on the field and stuff like that, but I was saying all the fans were for me and my teammates showing me love. You know, everything was good. Obviously, you know, went to the hospital, you know, straight from the field and stuff. Uh, you said that they, they diagnosed you with whiplash? No, nah, they didn't diagnose, diagnose me with that. Next, we'll go to Wyatt Koppelman. Wyatt, go ahead. Hey, Cam, so as you recover and now you return to the practice fields uh, with the team this week, um, just how do you describe the support um, and the the overall, I guess, atmosphere that you've had around you, um, being that you're originally from Miami, you were at Miami Northwestern. I mean, have you seen that kind of support uh, from, you know, your former high school teammates, your coach at Miami Northwestern as well? Yeah, the support always been there before the injury even came and stuff like that, so it was nothing different. Next, we'll go to Susan Miller Degnan. Susan, go ahead. Hi, Cam. Um, hey, good. Uh, you know, what are your emotions knowing that you'll be back Saturday? You know, what 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 was it when you first found out for sure? Uh, excitement. You know, if they was able to, I'd I'd have been out the Bethune Cookman game. You know, I don't like missing games, and those are my first games I missed since since I was little. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't miss no games in high school or two years before, so it was kind of a rough patch kind of missing those games because I kind of pride myself on making sure I'm fighting through whatever. So, But it's a lot of excitement to be back out there with, with my family. Did, did um, oh, well, well, I know you were on the sideline, you know, in Philadelphia. Like, I wanted to know, like, what perspective, if any, you gained watching from the sideline. That had to be different. And, you know, did it make you appreciate the sport more being out? Of course, I always appreciate the sport. And, um, and yeah, it was it was kind of like an eye opener, you know. You kind of sometimes take stuff for granted. I don't take the game for granted, but it just Coach Good, you always saying that like you, it could always just be a last game. So go out there and give it y'all, and kind of put it put it in perspective after watching the guys. And it was it was great just got being on the sideline. You know, I'd rather be out there playing, but just seeing my guys ball without me, regardless of me being out there. It just it's showing God step up like Jay Harris stepped up tre tremendously. Like I didn't see a drop off between me and him being out there. And what what has the rehab process been like for you? Coaches said that they do a great job there at UM. So yeah, it's just um taking it day by day. You know, at first it was it wasn't nothing too much, and then just kind of building it up and making sure like you can't replicate the football game. But you know they did a best job too. Okay, thanks. Next, we'll go to Marcus Benjamin. Marcus, go ahead. What's going on, Cam? Welcome back. Um, I just wanted to ask about what you did on the bye week as far as giving back to the community. Uh, what was it What was it really uh, that you did? Who was with you? Whose idea was it? And why is that important to you? Uh, you know, very important. And, you know, we could go out there and do it every week. You know, people be hungry every day. So that's only one time out of, like, probably like the three weeks, you know, you don't know whoever going to give back in, in that time span. So it was like, we was free. We had that Saturday off, you know, it, came, it was games going on. We all, we all want to watch it, but we know we just felt like it was important to just, you know, give back with a little time because all it takes is an hour to do that and, and it ain't hurting us and it's only helping them. And um, of course it was, it was my idea, you know, to kind of do it. A bunch of guys, it was TC, you know, Jaden Harris, Jay Rich, um, you had Malik Bryant, you had Shamar Kurt, a bunch of guys, Chase, you know, um, Coop. So, you know, we just kind of came out and just gave back. It wasn't nothing. What area was that, by the way? Yeah, in overtime. Okay. Got time for a couple more. We're going to Matt Shodell from Kane Sport. Matt, go ahead. Hey, Cam. Um, obviously, glad you're back. Welcome back. <laughs> so Jaden Harris, you mentioned him, and obviously he's the guy who stepped in for you. How involved were you personally with getting him ready, giving him tips, helping him in practices, even in the games? If you can talk about that a little bit. Um, to be honest, nothing changed. You know, that's how we was working <laughs> every day. And it was just he was just given an opportunity to go out down and feel and play. 
So as far as like mentoring him and stuff like that, like we've been doing that since the beginning. You know, going there and watching film together, going out there like in practice days. Every time we get a chance, like we always talking with that. With, um, with me being out, it's a little more easier as, as far as practice because when we came to the sideline, like we both on the sideline at the same time. But um, in a game, he always asks it, even when he's not getting in the game or expected to get in the game. He always asks what you seen on the field, what they give you, and stuff like that because you just never know. So when he got when he was touch turn, you know. Nobody wasn't nervous. We expected the results that he gave us. Thanks. And we'll go back to Adam from the Sun Sentinel. Adam, go ahead. Hey again. So uh, looking, you know, if you remember, obviously you remember last year uh, against Georgia Tech, you had three picks, obviously huge game. Um, how different is this year's Georgia Tech offense from last year's? Oh, very explosive. Well, Haynes King, you know, from AM, you got Christian Leary, you got Malik Rutherford. You got the running back, um, number 11, Haynes, like, and number 13 and 12, real good, real explosive, all deep threats, you know, really get the ball, open field, can make you miss, you know, real good team. And the offense is very explosive. You, are you seeing against um, Bowling Green, first play going deep. So, very explosive. And we'll wrap up with one more from Susan. Susan, go ahead. Pam, where where did you go in the community? Uh, you fed the hungry, obviously. Yes, I mean, where where was that? Overtown. Was it a like a soup kitchen or you know? Overtown. We just got out the car and walked around. Oh, you just walked around with food that you brought. Yeah, you guys. Well, that's that. That's how easy it is. You know, we don't we don't got to set nothing up. You know, you, you little Caesars. You go to McDonald's. Probably call a day early if you're going to McDonald's. You know, because you probably get what. We hadn't got 100 chicken sandwiches, 100 four piece nuggets. Go out there, everybody get a bag, and you know, you just walk around. You already see a bunch of people in tents and stuff like that. And as far as we don't been doing it so much, we know the session to go to, to where we, are. we don't have to like waste time trying to find people. We already know where they mostly be at. So it'd be easy. That's really neat. And then, and the other thing is, UM had put out like a, a Twitter from their Twitter feed that they were saving the black the Miami Knights or whatever, the black uniforms for number five. And obviously that's you. Uh, are you excited about being able to wear a different uniform? Of course. Or of course. I, I'd, have been, I'd have been too mad with it on one before I came back. So. <laughs> Why? Why? What do you like wearing like special uniforms for? It's an alternate uniform, you know, and you don't kind of, you only get one time to wear a year. So I want to be a part of it. That's great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, James, how's it going? How you doing? Good, good. Uh, obviously, Cam's back in action this week, practicing with the team again. Um, just how important is it, you know, to have him back? And, you know, does it give you guys kind of a boost? I know he's, you know, a big leader for the team. I mean, it's great to have Cam back. To see him back on the on Green Street field, running around, making plays, being excited how he used to be. But I want to give a shout-out to Jay Harris. What an incredible job he did for – Backing Cam up, obviously Cam got hurt, so it was amazing seeing Jay Harris step up and seeing Cam push Jay Harris to be to the top of his potential and to take his spot as he was down for a couple weeks. Uh, next, we'll go to Susan from the Miami Herald. Susan, go ahead. Hi, James. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm good. Hey, how does the game change though? Um, without cam out there i know he's your good buddy you're close what's it like being out there these last couple few weeks without him i mean it, i mean to me it wasn't no different i felt like jay harris was prepared as much as cam would be if cam was playing so to me it was kind of the same thing and it really wasn't a, a big difference drastic change other okay. than go ahead yeah, no, I also that Georgia Tech is 17th nationally in passing offense um, and they're 19th in total offense. Uh, what do you see out of this quarterback, Haynes King and 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 their receivers? I mean, they got I mean, they got a explosive offense all around. They got a pretty elusive back that could do whatever you want in space and the whole. They got great receivers with excellent speed. You got number six. You got number 13. You got. 12 who all like fast explosive guy that can make big plays so this should be a good test to um, to a great offense and to test miami see where we at uh next we're going to match Shodell from kane sport matt go ahead 
Yeah, hey, James. Uh, I just want to get your take on the, the Miami pass defense. Um, you know, depending on what area you look at, I mean, you guys have given up some passing yards, but not a lot of touchdowns. Um, is there room for improvement in the pass D? Do you think the pass D is as good as it can be in Miami? I mean, it's, it's always room for improvement. I feel like we was just we get too we get too passive and a lot of little short yards that that easily rack up on the stat sheets that we don't see on the field, but off the field we'd be like, wow, we gave up that many yards. So it's like we just gotta learn how to keep our foot on the pedal and always breaking downhill and understanding our coverages. And understand why Coach Gidry calls certain calls at certain moments. Once we understand that, I believe them passing yards should drop. Uh, next, we've got a Marcus Benjamin. Marcus, go ahead. How's it going, James? How you doing? I uh, just wanted to ask you about just what you do as far as studying film. Because Coach Gidry said, I think it was last week, that you're one of the first persons to always answer in the film session. So if you can kind of tell me like what kind of work have you been putting in as far as the film session to, you know, be one of the first guys to answer questions. I mean, I mean, the film is my life. That's where I make all my plays at. So really it's just me putting myself in better positions to make plays, knowing what's coming before it comes and helping my teammates be successful because obviously y'all not on the field with us, but if you're on the field, my teammates know, like, they can hear me talking to them and telling them which plays coming, which formation, which keys and tendencies that come. So it's really it's really about the time and effort that I put in off the field for the game of football. And now let's go back to Adam. Adam, do you have another question? Yep, um, kind of on the fun side of things, uh, y'all are wearing the Miami Knights jersey on Saturday, all black and everything. Uh, I mean, what what is like, I guess, uh, fun or exciting about that for you guys? I mean, it's good, but at the end of the day, that that the jerseys don't the jerseys don't define how we perform on Saturday. So, Thank you. to me, that I don't really care what we wear. We can wear all white with gray helmets. We go with all black with silver helmets. So we got to go play football and play to the standard that Coach Chris Ball laid out for us.